Welcome back home bartenders. This is a Rangpur Lime and this is a Rangpur Gimlet. That's what we're making today, a Rangpur Gimlet. Stick around, I'll have the ingredients coming up next. The ingredients are two and a half ounces of a dry gin. I'm using Rangpur Tanquari gin today and three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, a half an ounce of two to one rich simple syrup, and I will garnish with a thin lime wheel. All right, let's get mixing. I'm gonna start with a half an ounce of the rich simple syrup. I do have a video for that. It's a two to one simple syrup. Uh, you can go back and see that video if you want to. And then um, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And I always use fresh squeezed. And then two and a half ounces of dried gin. And I'm using this Rangpur today. There's two. I'm gonna go with half over here. And then let's get some ice in here and shake this cocktail. Okay, let's get that into our coop here. And then I'm going to garnish this with a little Rangpur lime. If you have never seen a Rangpur lime, this is what they look like. Um, it looks just like a little orange and it's orange inside. I thought it would be like a, a lime color inside, like green color inside. But my husband was talking with a friend last week and they had a Rangpur lime tree in their house. So he got like 10 or 20 of them and it's just perfect because I was already planning this cocktail. So let's garnish it with a tiny, tiny little Rangpur lime. Let's take this away and show you the Rangpur gimlet. Now it's time for my favorite part of the video, and that is trying the cocktails. Mmm. It's tart and sweet at the same time. You could use a Tanquary 10 here if you wanted to. You could use Brokers, or I've even tried it with Hendrix. But I think this Rangpur gin really boosts a lot of flavor. It's naturally tart. Um, and sour, but that two to one simple syrup really brings this cocktail together. It's delicate, but it's very delicious. I just wanted to go into the history of this just a little bit. Um, when I made that Gibson video, which you can go back and watch, um, this cocktail kept coming up, the gimlet kept coming up, and I remembered back when I was younger that I drank gimlets and I really enjoyed them. Um, so I went to Jeffrey Morgenthaler's website, jeffreymorgenthaler.com. He's a Portland based, um, bartender from Oregon. And he was the one that made the recipe for the Amaretto Sour that I did. Another video you can go watch. Uh, he was looking into a deeper dive into not using Rose's Lime. He was trying to figure out a recipe. And I think this is great. Um, that two to one simple syrup really helps a lot. And then he boosts the dried gin to two and a half ounces, which totally balances out the cocktail. So it's a really great one. You, you give it a try and go over to his website and visit that. And he's got lots of recipes and it's a really great website. Join me on Instagram. I'm over there at home bartender, Ann. I always post a picture and a recipe over there on Fridays and I'm on Facebook as well. And here on YouTube, I post videos every Friday. So hit subscribe and the notification bell so you will be notified when I make a new video and post it. Stay tuned because next week I am going to make a cocktail with creme de cacao and bourbon. So see you next week, home bartenders. Be well.